today has come. Okay, today we're gonna talk about how to always have interesting video content to share on Instagram and even here at some point something that people feel like they need to have it think. I'm gonna talk about it today when it comes to my entrances to how I do it and how I always find interesting content to share online on Instagram when it comes to videos. It's gonna be right about Channel. I hope you're doing fine today. This is another day, another week, and another video of me. We will be talking about the content, talking about what you can share, and always, always have something to share, no matter what. I've been on YouTube for over 10 years, and doing video content is something that I always, always, always got to be so passionate about. Editing videos, getting to the behind the scenes, I've done a complete video on to how to film your very first YouTube video, and all the details are there when it comes to planning, the structure, the schedule, and how you can grow to be really confident and really kill it to crush it when it comes to your first video. Here we have Instagram, we have TikTok, we have any type of social media that can help you, you know what I mean, a smaller bit of you every day. An interesting day to share so that they share their day and when they have not so interesting days to share they feel like oh my god what am i gonna do what am i even gonna show the first step is to pre-record everything not just only everything in your life but what i got to do and what i got to do even more without even realizing it was to pre-record even the videos that i had on my insta stories at some point when you have breakthrough moments with yourself by yourself when you're listening to a podcast episode watching a video you're just thinking meditating anything you're gonna do by yourself when you have those moments it's really interesting because everything that's gonna come out of it is always always amazing you're not necessarily gonna show it at the right moment it could be at any time have every note on my notebook so that whenever i want to share something either i make it a little bit more visual or in a video format or I just record myself if it's during the day. At the beginning I was randomly doing it but then when I got to have days when like you I didn't feel inspired to share anything about my day because there was nothing to share to be honest I used those clips, I used those videos to make it in a way where you have something to say it helped so much and honestly saved you so much of worriness and when you get to record moments like that it's genuine people can relate to it because the emotion you're gonna have at that moment is real true and people are gonna feel it that way you know because it's at the moment it's not after it's not days after when you're gonna say it again it's not gonna feel the same way for you I think sometimes you can keep it on your phone and when comes the time you're ready to share it at least you're gonna be able to share it with all the emotions coming along with it, it could be your routine in the morning it could be you dancing in the middle of your apartment I do that all the time I'm not even ashamed of it it's a beautiful way to just share moments like that to people without having a goal behind it without having to have a strategy behind it because people want to relate to you people want to relate to your life all the pieces together are gonna create the story they are gonna create a beginning on the end of the story not everything you're gonna share is gonna be random at some point it's gonna be a couple of tips or anything you're gonna say that's gonna be a lot more serious but getting to have the combination here make you be a person a real person <laughs> that people actually see and they feel like oh she's a human being actually she loves hello kitty everything you're gonna write down in your notebook in your journal you can take a bit of it you can take a sentence and make it a lot more visual you know inspiration i'm big into it super. if you follow me on instagram you're gonna see it i'm super ultra big on the code or anything that is highly highly visual so if you have a code a sentence something you say from a post for example so take out a sentence out of it and then make it a story be able to repurpose all the content you already have instead of having to create content all the time take the post take everything you write down and make it visual make it in a video tiktok is amazing at going with concept because booming 
So when you want to create highly interesting visual and educational content at the same time, watch all the TikTok TikTokers. <laughs> That's how I call them. To your own advantage. And when you do videos that way, you get to post them on stories, you don't have to talk concept and really go with tips, how to use Instagram visually pleasing to the eyes. Don't use TikTok as much, but for anybody else out there that feel like they don't want to speak, they can use music, they can use the dance, they can use interesting creative concept that way and put them on story. The tip is to plan your video content according to your cycle. I talked about it for style, clothing in general, planning outfits. The same thing is gonna go for your video content. I listened to one of uh, Gina Culture episodes and that's how I discovered that hi cycle, you get to have four phases in your cycle. So the are phases where you feel a lot more inspired, where you feel like you want to connect with people and there are other phases where you are much more into your brain. It's really those moments when you feel like there's something about you that's changing. It's gonna happen all the time. Now for you is to take advantage of that. But I'm gonna focus on one of the faces that actually could be beneficial for you that could for your video content and it's called the when you feel a little bit more stiff the linear phase is a phase where you finish up any projects if you want to work on your content and that includes your video content as well this is the phase where you're gonna have a lot more attention to the details probably have all the things that maybe you didn't see much before and getting to have ideas and solid ideas on what you want to do for your video content and the strategy behind it. Sometimes it's much more about listening to your own body and we as women we have those faces that we can identify and predict them because every month is gonna happen that way. The thing I'm gonna talk about is to do polls on Insta Story. On Instagram you have a lot of different ways to ask questions to your audience so the polls, questions in general, quiz are really really great. You can ask any type of question you have in mind or any type of um, idea you already have you might just want to pull your audience to see if it's a good idea to actually talk about on videos or if it's just not interesting for them ask them if you feel like you are out of content <laughs> ideas when it comes to it and even if you already have ideas it's a great way to plan what you're gonna talk about next and that was pretty much it for me for today I hope you liked it I hope you adored it it was another short and sweet video really quick tip really great tips I hope it's gonna help you at some point if you feel like you're running out of content video ideas when it comes to it but don't take it too seriously to be honest because anything on Instagram is for you to take it really easier than being on YouTube where it's definitely a much heavier technical behind the scene type of thing when it comes to creating those videos inspire people educate people and getting to just talk to people more in that way you know it's all about being interesting funny and just being you being you being you give it a thumbs up comment subscribe if you like that type of video because there's gonna be a lot more when it comes to it obviously i have instagram so follow me on there i have a lot of things when it comes to confidence when it comes to video strategy video content and more personal style because it's much more about you getting confident at showcasing yourself to the world and then people are gonna come to you because they're gonna feel that genuineness coming out of you gonna have a lot short and sweet type of videos and a lot of great tips a lot of great moments i would say like that you know when it comes to just being me and inspiring you and connecting with you even more so see you for me next video and like i see all the time keep smiling because it's free and contagious in a good way bye